According to Asaolu, AU ECOSOC recognizes Nigeria's performance in the last two decades. He said there is need to drum support from the AU system and other international partners to address below average performances, challenges and chances for Nigeria women and the girl child to contribute to the development of Nigeria and Africa at large. With our collective effort to achieve our set target, you will agree with me that the implementations of this new decade has started through the initiative of Mr. President. There is a man with foresight. We thank him very sincerely and we request him to do more because our best is not the best until we achieve the best. Inequality and poverty are intertwined and therefore this decade will dwell specifically in building strategies around catalyzing and breaking that cycle that, will, that has held women and girls back for so many decades. The Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Talent, commended the Nigerian Women's Decade Policy Initiative, saying it is the right time to tackle issues that affect women and girls. Talent recalled that the AU heads of state and government had a 33rd summit held in February 2020 in Ethiopia, declared 2020 to 2030 as the new decade for women, having implemented 2010 to 2020 as the first women decade. This new decade declaration of year 2020 to 2030 on women's financial and econ economic inclusion being flagged off today is to make significant progress in improving the lives and livelihoods of millions of Nigerian women and young girls. And that means leaving no one behind because when you empower a woman, you empower the family, the community, and the country at large. High point of the event was the appointment of Governor of Sokoto State, Aminu Tambua, and his Oyo State counterpart, Sheyi Makinde, as ambassadors to drive the new Women Decade Initiative. Sadiet Dusumu, AIT News, Abuja.